Welcome back to the EcoHow Workshop. Today we're going to show you how to make a small open fronted nest box used by a variety of smaller bird species. Like with the Kent Bat Box video, you can find the dimensions for this box in the link in the description below. We would recommend using recycled wood from old furniture if you can, but there are some things to consider. The best wood to use are soft woods like pine or cedar. These are much easier to cut if you're using a handsaw, and the natural resins inside the wood allow it to last longer, so perfect for a bird nest box. If you're buying new wood, make sure it comes from a renewable source. Also avoid buying pressure treated wood, this contains nasty chemicals. Make sure the wood's at least 15 millimeters thick. This keeps the chicks inside from getting too warm or too cold and prevents the wood from warping. So once you've cut all the pieces, and in my case I used an electric chop saw, it's time to construct your nest box. You're gonna need an electric drill with an appropriate sized wood drill bit and some galvanized screws. A braddle and a screwdriver will also help. Alternatively, you can use a hammer and nails. To start with, we find it easiest to attach the front to the sides of the nest box. Then add the back panel. And finally, the floor. Two things to note about the floor. First of all, make sure it's positioned slightly above the bottom of the box, like this. This makes it more waterproof for the baby birds. You can also cut it slightly smaller on one side of the internal dimensions of the box to create ventilation holes. There are several ways to attach the roof. The easiest way is to use a bit of bicycle inner tube and cut it to the width of the box. Nailing it to the back panel and the roof like this forms a waterproof seal. It also seconds as a hinge. You can also attach hooks and eyelets to the side of the box to keep it securely shut. This particular method is best for small hole bird boxes like the one we made in this previous video. This allows easy access inside the box for cleaning, without having to undo any screws. You don't necessarily need an opening roof on an open front box, because you can access the box for cleaning through the gap in the front. Another method for attaching the roof is routering out an indent in the back panel, like this. Of course, you do need a router for this. Cutting a 15 degree angle on the top end of the roof, like this, means you can create a snug fit that weatherproofs the box. Just add a few screws to secure it in place and you're done. We've also routed the box to give it a bit of a nicer finish. Another thing to note is that we've made the back and the roof slightly wider than the actual box. This overhangs the sides, making it a bit more weatherproof. So how and where do you hang up the box? You could attach the box to a wall or a tree by using a T-bracket like this. But this design of box has a high back panel, which you can screw into directly and affix to any surface. Any chicks inside an open fronted bird box are of course more prone to predation. So you want to try and position them in a secluded spot, preferably surrounded by thick vegetation. Another option of course is to position it high up on your house or a building. And there you go. This is one of many different bird box designs and we'll be making lots more in the future. Don't forget to download the plans in the link in the description below and subscribe to EcoSapien.